You are listening to a podcast of the Geek.io Media Network. For all of our shows and more, visit geek-io.net. And to help support the network, head over to patreon.com slash geek.io. Welcome, friends, back to Exploding Dice, your Geek IO Live Play Role Playing Podcast. I'm CJ. There's Jackie. Hi. There's Josh. Hola. There's Carrie. Can you tell what session this is of the night? <laughs> There's Monica. Uh. Ro, wake up! Hi, how is everyone doing this evening? Can you tell what session this is of the night? <laughs> this is the late o'clock session. Uh, so, welcome back, you guys. Last time we reported back to uh, Uncle Karn. We fed a turret toast. I was going to call him Cardon, but you know. <laughs> uh, that sounds a little... I I know what you're going for, Jackie, but it still sounds <laughs> too still too close. Yeah, yeah, a little too close. We just go with his other name, Zoltarn. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the thing in uh, in Big <laughs> Freaky mm. Genie thing? I think you may be oh, right. <laughs> yeah, Zoltar was a genie. I think. <laughs> The thing in the box that made big and made top things. Zotan, I thought that was the thing in Dude, Where's My Car? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no, wow. that's the guy from Flash Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Moving on! <laughs> uh, savior of the multiverse. Oh, man. So, yeah, we, had, uh, we, we, we got back and we're getting ready to get a train. Over to District 3. As long as it's not the gravy train, I think we're fine. The gravy train to District 9. Oh, God. Uh- <laughs> I mean, there's still tomorrow, so forget your sorrow. And I can be on the last train home. There. <laughs> All right. Here's where we part the, uh, part the rails of reality. <laughs> <laughs> where we're going, we don't need rails. Uh, we don't follow them anyways. I was gonna say we were I, I, off I those gonna, things a while ago. I was also gonna say probably the trains don't even use rails and they just hover. <laughs> I mean, thanks to uh, some work from Zatash, we're kind of trying to get some more botanical fuels going. <laughs> yeah, you know, make the trains run on time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that one. That was good. That was real damn good. All right. Um, so, in train is you can you can catch up on some more Z's uh, L, but not that Z, the other L. Uh, <laughs> nickname. Um. I'm Z. He's Z. She's Z. Are there any other Z's we need to know about? How's, <laughs> how's how's she doing after the after the bench nap? I mean, she's a little bit better. Uh, still groggy because ugh, because even with power naps, man, just there's a point where you still it's still hard to function fully. <laughs> but um, sorry, go ahead. But I mean, she's she's not still not a hundred percent. But she's better than what she was before, yeah. That's good. Uh, before honking back out and trying to get herself uh, functional, she will reach into her bag and pull out what originally looks like a bunch of museum plates with bits of glowing crystals and whatnot connected by a bunch of leather straps, and it just kind of dangles and flops around. 
and she starts strapping it. There's a big part uh, with, you know, crystals and various glass bits on her back, kind of like a little mini backpack. And then a, like a shoulder pauldron going plates all the way down her right arm to the top of her hand um, with a little spinning switch on the top of it. Um, Z would recognize this as her museum apparatus that she's now buckling onto herself. Rego uh, time! Yeah, I, I, <laughs> exactly. I come back, oh god, oh god, are you really going to use that? I might need it. Uh, I better start making my writing my will now. You already did that. Oh, right. Let me write the the other one. The second to last will and testament. <laughs> will you will you uh, uh, witness my will? Since I probably need that. Up oh, yeah. Make sure well, you uh, write one for uh, actual death, permanent death, and then one for undeath. You yeah, don't even I, know what this does. I mean, I was starting to get excited when she started strapping us on, but. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty uh, awesome. Right. Well, Katrina, yeah, it, if it you're just, willing to it notarize it for me, I will do the same for you. We're both licensed for that. Yeah. All right. Here, I already pre wrote half of it for you. You just need to sign an initial. <laughs> and, uh, Rick, is you can have this one, and one of us will uh, notarize it for you. All right. Uh, do you want one? Uh, he hands over. He hands one to Jack. <laughs> Trevor looks up. I think if he dies, his few belongings go to me. So I'm okay with this. <laughs> is that what that fucking form was for? Uh, never mind. You get you signed that form. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that one's irrevocable. As he's just sitting there playing with his pistol. <laughs> God damn it, Keith. <laughs> damn. Right. Oh. Why are you playing with your pistol in public? Because I'm allowed to. Forms and shit. <laughs> All right, let's get on this goddamn train. <laughs> I thought we were already on the train. Yeah. Oh. This is just the awkward while you're just sitting there across the aisle from each other, just kind of staring at one another. Um, <laughs> Rick is there, what, there's a guy in a red and blue web pattern suit just standing there on his cell phone. Right? <laughs> hey, See, guys. Is it, okay to, is it okay for flavor purposes for Elle to have previously made herself basically a caffeine potion? Sure. She will pull that out and down it. Mainly because you didn't fail the uh, the con save to be exhausted. So yes. <laughs> um, it's it's a longer trip because you guys are making it all the way out to uh, like all the way pretty much across the massive cityscape that is uh, District Ten, and it's a good ninety minute train ride. And you guys eventually make it out too. And it's weird when you're driving through here and you guys are going to be on the wrong map. But I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to fix it again here in approximately now. Um, it's weird as you guys are driving out of the town that there's more greenery that kind of pops up as you guys get further and further. Um, as you guys get closer and closer to the great concourse of District 3, of uh, Precinct 3. And it's almost like, I mean, it's it's kind of like Central Park where like there is an almost abrupt stop of pure browns and grays of the city. And suddenly there's greenery like everywhere. And I mean, it's comfortable to you, Rick, it's because you've been here for the better part of a year now. Um, if, the, if you guys don't get out here very often, it's just it's kind of the beauty of it and the simplicity of it is just something to behold. Wow. Yeah, Katrina will spend most of the most as soon as that happens, she'll spend the rest of the trip like looking at the windows and not talking to her companions. <laughs> <laughs> because um, it's always just so awkward. Uh Rick is going to throw his uh cloak hood above his uh, head. <clears throat> I don't think that's going to help you, buddy. 
No, no, it's a perfect disguise. Do you have any idea how many places <laughs> I, I've, I've infiltrated with just putting my hood up? No, no, you put on a baseball cap and sunglasses. That's how you properly. Uh, that's how you properly disguise yourself. What's baseball? No, just, <laughs> just real, gla- like regular glasses, and then comb your hair a different way. It's fine. <laughs> You've got some stories to tell, huh? Mm. Pointed silence. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, with much awkwardness, you guys get and pull into the t- station and are let off. And much to the difference of when you guys went out to three or uh, to six. It's so peaceful here. There are animals, and it is when you step off of there, you get some murmuring, but you hear birds chirping and see a marmoset. <laughs> yes, a random marmoset. <laughs> That's important. Yes, a random mama set. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's. It's something to take in. And even as the train departs, it seems to be on a silent course from here, try, set to not disturb the environment around. Man, they really did a good job on that maglev. Yeah, definitely an improvement. I was almost on that project. Oh, why didn't they hire you? Eh, independent uh, research took priority. That's fair. I would have assumed you at least gotten a good recommendation for it. Well, I mean, I ended up taking the project that got Raul Zarek's attention, so it worked out in my favor. Eh, that's true. Yeah, I only came out here once, so I don't really come out here that often. Too much fucking sunshine. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. You get used to the sunshine. Oh, was that was that actually Zatash making that sound? Yes. <laughs> they are like holding, like squinting super hard. Their eyes, like hands, like pretty much over their eyes. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Wing. Mm, still sucks. <laughs> eh, it's not so bad out here. Too much life. Kinda. Too much life. Huh? <laughs> Fuck, are we here again? Girl war camp. His girl, his ex girlfriend, hates him and sent the message and stuff. Oh yeah, uh, right to see the cool lady. Uh, the cool lady. Let's go punch some shit. Uh, what pseudo uh, dragons like to eat? That thing needs a cookie. I like that thing. Oh yeah, give it chocolate chip cookies <laughs> with uh, with uh, rice. <laughs> rice in it <laughs> eventually as he hears your voices uh, Ukoi kind of comes down it's about fucking time you guys showed up yeah we uh, we ran into some uh, problems uh, out by precinct 6 some problems in that all of us almost died a couple of us did have- you didn't have to tell him that. <laughs> he would have found out. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are useless. <laughs> to be so fair, there's a lot of fucking clowns. Yeah. Clowns do fucking suck. They really do. So do yeah. puppets. You you try to kill a blood witch and then we'll talk. Don't you talk shit about Lil T. <laughs> 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 Trevor, Trevor looks at up- no, she holds up her hand and it starts crackling. <laughs> Trevor looks at the 
fuck did that come from? <laughs> And in the space of time since it has last been seen, it is now exactly decked out to look like Trevor. (laughs) Trevor looks at it, slowly unholsters the gun, (laughs) points it at the puppet. (laughs) I want it dead. Are you sure about that? I mean, it was made by the Rakdos. It might end up being some kind of effigy. You may want to talk to a uh, licensed therapist about your suicidal thoughts. I don't have that one. Sorry. Ukoi holds up his hand. I'm a shaman. Does that count? Uh, (laughs) Yeah. I can exercise it if you really want me to. Please. Come on, little T. Hey Jake, uh, uh, <laughs> that 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 hair you have on it looks very realistic. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> the back of your head. <laughs> well, at least me. it's being put to to good use. Tris told me to come out here, and she was going to investigate the war camp. She told me that I wasn't supposed to be there, and I would be distracted and shit like that. And here I am, waiting for you guys. Hmm. Well, we're here now. Come what? on. <laughs> All right. So we I I guess we'll start following or I'll start following him. Yeah. Uh you got it is there any new information? Um not really. Tressa said that they pretty much have been well, gruel. Normal gruel. Like much how normal. big is this war party? Not very, from what I could gather. She saw somebody come out of a tent, and then that was when she looked very panicked and sent me away for whatever reason. I'm still not entirely sure why. Mm, She probably recognized him. That's a reassuring sign. Yeah, that's uh, oddly suspicious. Yeah, we Mm. should just go check it out. Uh, before we continue, I signal, I, I talk to my companions, uh, you know what, let's just, just in case, let's prep for battle, like, load what you need to load. Done. Not saying that there's going to be combat, but I'm just saying there's like. You're just saying that there's probably going to be combat. Yeah, just put one. can be taught. Just put one in 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 the chamber chamber. Uh, uh, Jack, uh, why don't you go first? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me and little T got this, and the uh, the puppet's got a little pop gun. <laughs> Jack, I didn't know you were into making things too. Little T, where'd you get that from? It's not right. Uh... Sweet. Let's go fuck shit up. <laughs> and um, he, Ukoi, kind of leads you guys up to the canopy, which is, of course, at that point, a major pain in the ass as you guys get closer to it. And there's a fuck ton of stairs. <laughs> and no alternative way up. <laughs> Ah, uh, stairs. Ah, uh, stairs. <laughs> Katrina has no problem with stairs. My poor knees. <laughs> Ukoi comes over to you. Do you want to lift? Yeah, that would be appreciated. He grabs you by the scruff of your neck and lifts you up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, you would think I would be upset about this, but I'm really not. <laughs> His entire body goes limp, and he starts looking real groggy. <laughs> uh, Rick is brings out his. Uh, uh, Rick is brings out his uh, loot and is like, "Left foot, right foot, we climbing up the tree." L, um, if we make it through this, remind me to not shoot Rickus. Okay. She pulls out a notepad, writes, "Don't shoot Rickus." <laughs> And I mean, there, there is a lot of stairs. <laughs> like, so we'll fall from that landing. 
What are you doing? Math. What kind of math? You can count? <laughs> you know Man, what terminal velocity is, bitch? You know, you, your new abilities astound me every day, ass face. <laughs> Talks to us like the monkey. <laughs> oh, brothers. Mm. Me or the puppet? <laughs> I mean, the two of you. You. I mean, she wasn't talking to the dummy. Well, the two of you kind of talk like your brothers. Uh... <laughs> Just saying. And she gips up a couple stairs, then decides fuck that noise and starts walking normally. <laughs> <laughs> and after some grueling cardio. Grueling. <laughs> you guys are at top <laughs> of the canopy. And up here, it's like, be, down there it was gorgeous, but man, up here is just breathtaking. As you guys pretty much get a one of the highest points in the city. Certainly the highest natural point in the city. Well, natural looking point in the city. And um, he brings you over to a point where you guys know um, technically is at the end of District 10. And kind of points to the northeast. He goes, war camps out that way. Tris is waiting for us out there. Hope you cops don't mind getting their uh, feet dirty. No, don't mind at all. And uh, begins walking down a relatively sharp incline as you guys get up there. <sighs> oh, boy. Decline, rather. Sorry, not incline. Um, yeah, if he's the- walking down an incline, I've got serious questions. <laughs> you walk uphill both ways in the snow. <laughs> With no shoes. No, because he has hooves. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Uh, okay. <laughs> you are now guided. <laughs> yes, I am now guided. <laughs> they went that away. <laughs> and eventually you get down there and uh, there's Tris, Trisana looking at you guys and she looks back over her shoulder at the uh, war camp. Kind of looks. Waves for you guys to come over. I, we all come over, I guess. Yeah, we'll approach. Uh-huh. I will approach very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> You're suddenly behind Jack and L. <laughs> I approach cautiously. So even further behind. <laughs> He's actually yeah. taking a defensive action for the bonus <laughs> armor class. <laughs> I, I, I keep my eyes, one eye on her and one eye is on, on the sky for looking for that green dragon. Oh, it's on her shoulder. <laughs> it's on her shoulder. She's just Rick gonna, is the chameleon. She's uh she's feeding it a uh some kind of bar. Morning. 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 Mm. Yo. Hi. Uh, what's the situation? She goes, let me uh, let me move a couple of things and I will show you guys. And she positions you guys into a into a place and she starts separating some of the trees. And uh, you guys are going to get a couple map jumps, but not the ones that I want to put you on yet because roll 20 is weird and I have a lot of maps loaded in. <laughs> it's not scrolling over for whatever reason. Thanks, roll 20. Appreciate it. <laughs> Oop, not that one, obviously. Whoa. Whoa, not that one. <laughs> Please, not that one. Oh, look, all the things, of, all the instruments of our demise. <laughs> look, when you said you were going to throw a lot of shit at me, come on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I see that. darkness. You should definitely not oh, see darkness. There's no crazy. fog of war on this goddamn map. <laughs> oh, well, there's nothing but fog of war. God fucking damn it. Also, yeah, temp- I had to go like up to twenty percent just to see the whole entirety of this. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's a pretty good sized map. Uh, there's no, there's nothing on here though. 
Stop being dumb. How about now? Nope. nope. The fuck? <laughs> There's nothing here stopping it. There's no fog of war at all. I don't understand. Hey, there it is. They tried putting you. I don't know. Maybe putting you guys on the fucking map. I don't know. That might be. That might help. Uh, Zev. Hmm. Uh, nothing. Hmm. Fuck. There's no fog of war on this map. I purposely made it that way. Uh. Reveal areas? I don't fucking know. Um, I, I mean, I just saw pink ping. ping. I, I'm seeing pings. We have pings. Yeah, yeah I mean, I I, I see a, a, a like a the the war camp. Yeah. So you see the war camp? Yeah. Huh. I see. I see darkness. I see black. Hit F five. I see somebody drawing a pentagram with the little movement trick. <laughs> Because there's there's nothing there stopping it. Like, all right. Uh, while you work on that, I'll be right back. I need to grab some water. All right, More I water. I think roll twenty. Yeah. Oh, you had to reload. Yeah, you had to definitely re uh, refresh that whole thing. All of us. Yeah, it's roll twenty. God damn it, roll twenty. We love you, but god damn it. <laughs> there are days, roll twenty. There are days. And weeks and months. And even some years, but we'll keep using you, because there's no better choice. Goblinoid War Camp. There we are. There's a person. Wait a minute. Does he set us up? Uh, no. <laughs> there's you five. Oh, that's like really far. Jeez. I, at ten percent, I can't. I can barely even see ourselves. Right. Yeah, this is a big map. Yeah, that's a monstrously, grotesquely large map. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> With a lot of things there. There were more and bigger. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. If you could <laughs> kindly uh, delete the superfluous jet, please. Oh. Uh, uh, how do I remove uh, a? I think I have a, d- a duplicate of me somewhere. I do. Yeah, it's over in one of the houses. <laughs> this is mine now. I live here. <laughs> <laughs> it's up here. Wait, is that my twin brother? No, it's not. I kill. I ate him in the womb. Gross. This is an extremely large map. Yeah, it didn't mean it to be that big. It's, it's Zervad and Davras. <laughs> yeah, it was not intended to be this big. Also, that's what she said. Um, hey. You guys would be about there anyway. I mean, that's the they they've been here for a bit, so the war camp is about this size. Like they've set up quite a bit. This is a large war camp. Yes, they. Uh, when I got here a couple of days ago, it was a lot more bustling, but they've since sent off quite a few people. Um, she says as she's showing you guys around. Uh, you guys see flags being flown everywhere, red and green, and it looks like a tree burning. This is like uh, the flag, or there's an actual tree on fire. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, the flag itself has a burning tree on it, but there are definitely trees on fire. Ukoi looks un, un, uh, unpl- uh, nonplussed about this. He does not look happy about any of this. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why, but that really pisses me off. I, I, I think I'm going to go set those guys on fire. I, maybe let's see what Trisana has to say first. I mean, I'm all for blowing this stuff up, but... They, uh... 
she looks at you guys and goes, they, uh, this is a contingent of the burning tree or the burning tree clan and Ukoi kind of bristles at this. And they're about to be from the smoking mulch clan. I would, uh, advise you to not take them too lightly. You, uh, you know these guys, Ukwai? This was my former clan before me and my immediate family broke off to a more peaceful, shamanistic point of view. Oh, yeah. grudge match. Oh, boy. You, uh, you gonna be okay to be here, buddy? Oh, this is going to be amazing. Just make it sure. And he does that whole neck cracking thing. Right. And oh boy. She goes, um, and Trisana goes, um, which leads me to the reason why I sent you away, Ukoi. Um, you remember that, uh, that uncle of yours that you told me about? And he stands up at his full height and <sighs> yeah, your uh, your cousin's <sighs> your cousin's Grudge leading match. this uh, this war camp. <sighs> Anybody want to fill us in? My asshole uncle is a usurper of the head of the Burning Tree clan. We were, my family was to lead them. He assassinated my grandfather and took over, which in the Gruel clan is a sign of strength and not a sign of anything else. Dickery? Yes. Um, oh, there's your, there's the extra Zav. Get out of here, extra Zav. <laughs> He's chilling at war camp. <laughs> so he has been promoted and his asshole cousin, and his asshole son is Brutal. And he looks over. This is an impressive collection of fuckery that they have here, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah. Uh, anything else that you guys are trying to do, see anything? Uh, yeah, there's. I mean, you guys pretty much see everything that's on the map that you guys currently have, and it's uh, it's an intense. Oh, nice, good job, guys. As I'm sl- starting to roll initiative for people because I have a lot of people to roll initiative for. <laughs> um, Spoilers, right? Are we like really just supposed to come in here and like wreck their shit? Yes. Uh, um, Yes, but there's gonna okay. be a better way because last time we went in head Oof, first. begins walking down the hill. <laughs> Alo, ah. you want to ride a minotaur into battle? Ah, oh, boy. Fuck yeah. Uh, huh. and, uh, and, Z, and Z just goes, all right. L, you and I are handling long range support because apparently this is not going to end well. K, L's already following them. Oh, no, uh, not again. Uh, she is behind them. And she is acknowledging what you're saying. <laughs> uh Katrine, we're um we're gonna need to file some more paperwork after this. And uh as Ukoi is walking down the hill. Kataesh! Show yourself! Uh, all right. And there it is. Any sense of surprise is gone. <laughs> surprise. Well, I mean, there surprise, are some fries. <laughs> some fries, motherfucker. Two sides, motherfucker. Um, and... Uh, 
make sure everything is up here. <laughs> right. Um, you guys begin walking down there, and we are going to go ahead and roll some initiatives. Yay! Oh, I that, had my token selected, but did not, so it's a 19, CJ. All right. That, all right. Uh, that first one is just a uh, test one. No, it is not. <laughs> wow. Why is, why is my initiative 2.14 again? Because you have your uh, dex modifier in there. Yeah. Um, hold on. I have to right click, check, and turn. What'd you get in 19, you said? 19.14, but yeah. Holy 19. shit. 19.14. Oh, I didn't Jeez. Know. Rhino ready to charge. Early. How do I. Oh, do I. Uh, and you did not have your character selected, Rhino. I definitely was selected onto my character. You definitely were not. Yeah, I didn't get mine to select on for whatever reason. There we go. That was weird. Oh, it's the tiebreaker thing. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, I got to find and turn. Wow. Oof. Wow. And I thought I was bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, look at it this way. It's just initiative. Yep, get it out of the way. Yeah, that was a, a nat one two initiative for L. Katrine rolled a twenty two, but a nat one. So we're gonna add that to. We're gonna put that up really high. Um, and I'm gonna roll initiative for the NPCs because I really wanted to play these characters. It's the main reason why I'm like, nope, we're just, we're just gonna go fight. <laughs> did you put me in uh, CJ? Uh, I did not. Hold on. And turn, what'd you get? Uh, seven. Seven. All right. There's Triss. There's Ukoi. He's probably going to roll shit. <laughs> Watch him roll like a natural 20, and then we all like go, yay. Nope, he rolled a three. <laughs> or two. Yep. Oh, jeez, Urquoy. Uh, he is not spec for speed. <laughs> We couldn't tell. He is not a Minotaur rogue. He's close to being a Minotaur rogue. (laughs) All right. Uh, I think that's everybody. I mean, the lizard folk rolled a one. So, I mean, there's that. (laughs) That's reassuring. All right, Katarine, you are up. And this is to scale, by the way. so. So much scaling. Okay. Monica's being very quiet. <laughs> I am because I'm still kind of taking in what is even going on here. So it's one of the times where I kind of wish I didn't roll a high initiative. <laughs> what is the point? Um, the point is walking. <laughs> I mean, at least I put you guys at the beginning of the war camp instead of up the hill, so. <laughs> um, all right, well. Uh, there, I've moved. <laughs> all right. Um, are you assuming any kind of defensive stance or anything like that since you have a major action? Might as well put the dodge action up. Yeah, yeah, definitely dodge. Okay, so it increases your AC by two, I believe? I believe so. Okay. Jack, you and your puppet are up. Up it. Sweet. Dong. Uh, let's see. You said everything's just about to scale? Yeah. Including, like, encampment walls and things like that? Yeah. They have been here undisturbed for quite some time. Uh, how high are the walls? Mm, 30, 45 feet. We'll call it 45 feet. Righty. Do, 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 do. 
Where is the one I need? Do I want to do that, though? This seems like a potentially terrible idea. Splitting the party? <laughs> well, putting myself on the other side of the wall with 10-ish things, including a Minotaur? Technically, the Minotaur's not out of the, out of the house yet. He's there, but he's not there. It's like Okay, so, so 10-ish things, not including a Minotaur that may or may not be there considering he was called out. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Boop. Boop. Indeed. And I am going to assume iron durability as my focus. So I get that sweet plus one to AC. Okie dokie. And I guess since I have actually... Do I have line of sight to anybody at the moment from there? Um, no. The the guard tower that you are around is okay. blocking that off. Just making sure. No worries. That's um, a great tower. And speaking of that guard tower, a uh, whoosh of wind comes near you and out jumps a hold on doing a thing oh that's cool they don't appear on initiative until they're off of that layer I did not know that the more you know yeah it's almost like they were intended to be hidden or something yeah I just I didn't trust them so I manually added it in there so um, this little Half orc, really, and it's not a big half orc. Comes like sl- swinging down from the guard tower and comes down and tries to stab at you a couple of times with his short sword. So to the jack, uh, nineteen. That'll hit. And uh, na- uh, unnatural twenty. We'll also hit. All right, these guys. I'm just gonna roll on their. Uh, on screen. That is 10 damage. Okie doke. I will knock off that 7. And do 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 do. Yep, pretty much. Um, and hold on. There's other things happening that you guys don't know about. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> cool. All right. So, and then it is Trisana's turn. She is going to have the DM move to the correct layer so he can actually control her. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. She is going to look at jack and peer around him as she sees this ambushing half orc kind of jet out of there and she is going to kind of give this like let's see uh she moves in front of she kind of pushes not past cat well past katrin uh pardon me excuse me and Katrin, you feel almost this, this almost aura of malice erupt from her. And there is a very heavy green, but licks of white energy kind of leaking off of her. And she stares daggers through Jack. Jack, you see on the guy in front of you, a green and white eye appear on his head. Oh. You uh, you got something on your face there, buddy. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll take it off. <laughs> and uh, that is the evil eye hmm. on him, and she is going to 
pull out a book from her bag and flip it open. And at that point, a, hmm, that one should do. And she draws a symbol in the air and launches a ray of frost at him. And that is going to hit, dealing eight damage. Why did that roll one plus seven? That's weird. Uh, That's weird. Why did that roll... Did you try to... Uh, if you hit the Ray of Frost again, it might ask you to cast it at higher levels. I don't know. That's a cantrip. Right. So it wouldn't be at higher levels. Uh, um, she might, Oh, it's two to... Okay, because she is higher level now. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I'm an idiot, and it's late. Um, <laughs> but the evil eye is also going to deal... Uh, I think it's one... Uh, no, okay, I get... Bon- uh, it should be wisdom damage based on wisdom yes so it is going to take eight is going to take 12 damage as uh the bolt she goes uh jack move or you're going to get very cold very fast uh got it and uh a blue bolt erupts from her hand and strikes the ambusher and he kind of falls to the ground, frozen. Hmm. Snaps her book closed. Next. Uh, nice. Rick, yes, you, you, you angered that? I, I feel really sorry for you, bud. Oh, yeah. I mean... Uh... <laughs> hey, look, Rick, yes, you're not the only one getting the blue balls. <laughs> so now is the time that I say this. Jackie, thank you. Trisana is your witch. <laughs> Yay. She's the HWIC. That's awesome. I, I was I was really hoping that uh that we'd get to see some of his content show up in here. She was almost a ranger, but I really only like one ranger build, and it's the same one that um Pride was in the seven in the Deadly Sins campaign. And um, I'm like, I don't want to play that again. So I'm looking through them like nature classes. I'm not going to make another goddamn druid because uh, I already have one goddamn druid. And he's enough to handle on. They're enough to handle on their own. Uh, uh, wait, Jackie made a witch. Hey, Jackie, does one of your witch covens have green? <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Because I have 13 subclasses because I'm insane. Sweet. I'm going to make that. <laughs> Suck it, mystic. Uh and uh, so, yes, we have a Witch of the Green being Trisana. Thank you, Jackie, for uh, being there and letting me use her. I greatly Oh, appreciate. you're welcome. <laughs> and Jackie's like, I'm not sure. It still needs playtesting. I'm like, well, here you go. <laughs> well, yeah. We've already got a mystic in the game. Let's see what a witch can do. Let's see how badly we can break this game fully. <laughs> yep, might as well. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Nope. Five, six, um, and see, I'm, I put myself at a disadvantage too, not being able to get to you guys. Two, four, five, six. Um, so they obviously, the war camp is starting to get woken up and uh, moving their way towards you slowly. You have these red skinned goblins, those are the asshole goblins that you were told to avoid growing up. Uh, Z, those are yeah. hobgoblins. Oh, those. Well, I can't see those. I can't talk about it yet. <laughs> Four, five, six. Um, it's one of those guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, nope. Six. Is that the pit? <laughs> one, two, three, four. Oh, why doesn't he go into the pit for all of our sakes? <laughs> um, those guys move. All right. You hear out of there. Who dares call Kataish out? You dare. Motherfucker. 
and a massive minotaur comes out easily standing damn near 12 feet tall jack you can kind of see him hovering over some of the houses and encampments here oh i'm gonna break that this is a big motherfucker one two three four five hmm who are you assholes? I heard my dumbass cousin. Oh, don't you just sound like a delight. CJ, are we able to even... We, I bet you we can see like the tips of like yeah, you of see his horns. The, the horns just you over the wall. Horns, yeah, you see horns <laughs> coming out over the wall. Oh, that's... Uh, because shit just got real. <laughs> well, uh, looks like uh, the the welcoming committee is coming. Great, big target. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Maybe, hopefully. Two, three, four, five. Oh, it is a it is a very large man. It is a very large man indeed. Six and he is then going, or they are then going to. Huh, hmm. It's, uh, hmm. It's going to. No, nah, it's not useful on that one because that guy's dumb. They're going to kind of put themselves into a defensive position as well, taking the dodge action as well because might as well because. Not getting any, uh, uh, yeah, I got 45 feet there. Probably could do something because he does have line of sight on a bunch of people. Um, thank you for pointing those out. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm doing it intentionally. <laughs> uh, I have to look up feet or range now. So they are going to, Mm-hmm. Is that 60 feet too? That is 60 feet too. Cool. Uh, they're going to point at one of the kobolds that are popping up over there and make a sign in the air of kind of, and as it's streaking through the air, a green and black tree and let the plague come over you and is going to cast ray of sickness at the kobold that one that one and ray of sickness Eh, level one nice (laughs) why are you taking bless (laughs) stop being blessed (laughs) where did that come from I don't understand I guess we'll take it at this stage. I mean, still rolled a 21 on him without the bless. Why is that even there? I don't I'm understand. A bless. Roll 20 is being really fucking weird tonight. I don't understand. Yeah. There. Yeah. I don't get it either. But now it's just a square that will hopefully not appear anymore. Uh, <laughs> so it is going to shoot a black and gray, a uh, black and green thing at uh, Ray at that guy and that kobold is going to roll a constitution save and fail miserably. Fail miserably. Ouch! Oh, shit. Uh, it rolled a 6 and it needed a 14. So not only is it taking 10 damage, it is also poisoned, which is a very, very nasty uh, mm-hmm. de- uh, yeah. basically has disadvantage on everything until it uh, is taken <laughs> It's mean. <laughs> this poison is mean. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, and that affects until the end of his next turn. I want to say mm-hmm. level one spell. Yeah, end of his next turn. Mm-hmm. So yeah, until the end of their next turn, they are poisoned. Oh, so is it, uh, Jack? You see this, and I guess this is the first time you've seen Zatesh do anything. I'll show you what true death actually means. And this green and black bolt hits this kobold and it starts like kind of 
ejecting liquid from its face. Sick. Yes, exactly. A nice shot. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ziv! All right. So, quick question. How tall is this uh, tower right here? The tower itself is about 60 feet tall. 60 feet tall? Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. So, okay. So, it's going to take me about 20, 25 feet to get there. Like, where's the entrance for the, uh, the ladder for it, if there is one? Uh, you would not have one on that side. Um, okay. You would have to get over to this side over here. Okay. So, that's... Where the, where the little stabby guy came out of so pretty much where jack is yeah jack is at the entrance of that tower all right so he he actually is literally blocking my path great well you can move past him i mean it's not well well, i also have a bonus action to dash so or is it disengage let me see what my own racial ability says uh disengage or hide never mind so we're gonna do i say i think it's disengage (laughs) well it's disengage or hide so it's either one so i'm probably so just waiting for him to take the one level dip into rogue. <laughs> Ugh, I mean, right. You might uh, as well. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So I'm going to move over yonder to here. All right. And is that exactly 30 feet? Yep. Um, I don't have line of sight to really anything. Correct. Yeah. It's all broken. By yeah. That. Yeah. That, that, that tower blocks everything. Okay. So I have no line of sight. Um, so in that case, I am probably what I'm going to end up doing is I am going to cast heroism and I'm going to target Jack. And so Jack, you have until the spell ends, uh, you're immune to being frightened and you gain temporary hit points equal, uh, you gain, how many hit points, uh, you gain three temporary hit points, Yay. Uh, and I believe, uh, and they refresh, uh, let me see, gains temporary hit points at the start of each of, of your turns until the, until the spell is uh, stops, basically, for a minute. So, so, now- so uh, do me a favor and click that in the chat for me, please. Or go ahead and click your spell to cast it in the oh, chat. Please. sure. Please and thank you. Yep. Are you willing, Jack? <laughs> yes. Um, we will call this uh, heroism. We'll call it the weird fairy tale looking motherfucking sign. <laughs> sure. Nice. That is your heroism sign. Woo. The uh, the symbol of the Boros kind of appears on your back. You can't really see it, but it's there. Yep, I can feel it. Feel its feel the, feel the feel the courage. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh, uh, that will probably. Uh, I'll use my bonus action to hide. There you go. Uh, roll me a stealth check. I'm probably gonna be garbage at it. Check. Hit him harder. Oh. Yeah. All right. You uh, you nice. duck behind the tower and are pretty invisible. Nice. Because. <laughs> 17 is going to be higher than most of their passive perceptions, and they're not going to spend a turn looking for you, so. Right. All right, that's it. All right, Rickus. Ah, finally. All right, I, I'm i going to move up. Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Right here, right be behind Zatash, and I am going to cast um, oh, um, Inspiration is a regular action, right? So it's a, I think it's a free action. It's a bonus action. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Jack, you already have a uh, buff, right? You have a uh, heroism, right? Yeah. Yes, but that is completely separate from anything like bardic inspiration. Okay, I'm giving you a bardic inspiration. Buff the, tank, buff the tank, buff the tank, buff the tank. Say something inspiring, uh, Rickus. <laughs> we have Jack, the mighty, going to tank these fellows for us. Get punched in the face so I don't die. 
again. I'm gonna fucking throw you over there in a second. <laughs> and as my uh, let's see, is it? I'm going to use shatter. It's got a range of sixty feet. Yep. So you are pretty much able to get any of those guys that are in the front line there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see exactly where I fired. Uh, you would have line of sight on. Uh, that's drawing tools. I don't want that. I want the. Nope. Is it alt? Nope. Control? Nope. Shift? Nope. <laughs> the hell is it? It's Q. Q. Okay. It's like okay. Q1 or Q2. You would, not, or have, like you would not have line of sight to either one of those two. Okay, but I do have line of sight to the top two, right? Yes. Okay. Um, can I get right between them? There's a square between them, yes. Okay. Right there, within 10 feet, I'm going to cast Shatter. All right, which will hit. I mean, if it, if you're casting it, like, right there, that'll hit all of them. Uh, Do it. What the hell? I'll cast it at level four. Jesus. <laughs> so that would be, Jesus, 5d8? Yeah. Holy shit. What- so con saves on all of them. He gets disadvantage. So Kobold the first is going to have an 11. Kobold the second, since I have that one up, is going to have an 18. Uh, Hobgoblin. The Hobgoblin is going to have a <laughs> oh, Well, and that Lizard is there is definitely down there. There it is. <laughs> uh, it's going to 17. So uh, is it fit? Is it half damage on six seed? Uh, yes. It's uh, let me see. Right. so tell us how many, how much damage that you rolled, by the way, uh, I rolled 16 damage plus uh, nine, nine. So 16 plus nine is 25. <laughs> half of that is 12. I was making him say it. Oh. <laughs> well, no, no, because I'm I'm looking at it here, and it's got nine from the higher level cast, and then sixteen. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh, okay, because it it just adds the. Okay, got it. Because you know the sixteen is is the normal three d eight. Yes, mm-hmm. and then the other one's the. Yep. The plus two. Uh, 2d8. Okay, got it. So yeah, so 25 all 25 damage altogether to f- four enemies, but because uh which one of them no, two of them rolled. Yeah. No. Uh yes, two of them two of them succeeded. Um and took half damage. Sadly, though, these guys, the, a couple of them don't have a lot of hit points, so they died even though they had half damage. <laughs> Mark one for Rick, or two for Rickus. You, know, you see one go down as this, as you sing your weird bardic bullshit, and a surge of energy kind of erupts from the sky and slams into the ground, launching this sonic wave backwards. And you see... Oh, look at boom. You see the red-skinned goblin get slammed backwards. And you see the, the kobold kind of, even though he's sick, hold his ground a bit. Uh, he's not looking great. The blood that's coming out of him is tinged with black and green. And um, you hear a squeal, like almost like a, uh, you hear a screech and coming from off in that direction as well. Oh, because I, I don't have line of sight of that one. I don't know if it's dead, right? Correct. Or I don't even know if there was anything over there. Correct. It's, it's, it's that off-screen cat yowl. Yes. Five, six, seven, cool. Uh, Ukoi is going to... Nope. All right. Stop. Stop. Damn it. <laughs> Ukoi is going to move up there. <coughs> Oh, he's mad. Uh, you may want to 
rethink your policies on burning things. And flames are going to lick up from him. And from his hand erupts a giant great axe made out of flames. He is going to swing it down. And those who are there, which is pretty much everybody but Alora, see this fireball fly, materialize from the sky. And is going to... What the hell is the range on the fireball? I forget. Uh, where's your course cord? There's our course cord. For some reason, I'm just thinking of the warrior character from Gauntlet Legends on the Nintendo 64. I agree. 50 feet. <laughs> yeah. No, Fireball's stupidly long range. So, it, it, it will get them. Yeah. He is going to land it right on his head. <laughs> Pretty fair. Pretty fair. And um, then is... Uh, hey, beef the grills itself. 20 foot radius. Jesus. Okay. So, what? yeah, it is... Gonna, is going to hit there and radiate radiate out four squares. So, uh, where's my drawing tool? There's my drawing tool, and it's going to land there. So, hit out one, two, three, four, one. Yeah. So there. So just him and his two lackeys next to him. Three, four. Um, I mean, it's going to erupt out. I'm going to. Yeah, fireball actually goes around corners. <laughs> yes. Well, these things are all made out of wood. <laughs> that too. <laughs> so, so that's on fire. <laughs> backwards as well. It's just the side that I had available to me because this map is ridiculously big. Wow. There's a lot of huts going to be on fire. Yeah. Lots of huts. Yeah. But, but man, these two little guys in the back got lucky. They were just at the edge. Yes. Whew. So lucky. Let's go with that. <laughs> Josh. Still heard him. <laughs> so, yeah, this big ass fireball. He just like swings this great axe made out of flame, slams into his cousin. Um, and. They all have to make dexterity saves, which not a lot of them have dexterity. That's great. So uh, any hobgoblins? No, or one hobgoblin that is there. Dexterity save. Hobgoblin, go. Succeed. Oh. Still going to take half the damage and get roasted. Um, yep. Uh, any lizard folk in that rain? Uh, that um, one, right? Yes. So lizard folk dexterity save. And it's fails. Um, kobolds, the first with disadvantage. That's constitution. Wrong one. The first fails. The second, which does not have disadvantage, fails. <laughs> and Kalatesh himself. Minotaur is not known for the dexterity. <laughs> Eesh. Especially not when he rolls a fucking two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, so I've got so, a quick question about Fireball. So that range is like into next week's campaign, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so as this Fireball hits, ignites everything in this area. All of these buildings that are in that shaded area are now completely aflame. Um, so that guy failed. All these guys failed here. So he's X. X. Oh, no. He's not going to be dead, dead. He's close to it, but he ain't dead, dead. That guy's dead. No, the uh, that guy's dead. Uh, that guy's dead. <laughs> They were dead as soon as I said, I want to cast fireball. <laughs> and he's going to take a, like he, the fireball slams into him and he gets knocked back and this, he like catches the, he catches the fireball and it explodes on him, detonating outwards 20 feet. And as the smoke, cle- well, as the immediate explosion clears, the flames of the burning wood smell is everywhere. And the Minotaur looks up. Ooh, mahogany. 
and smiles. That's pleasant, cousin. Alora. Hey, I'm a person who exists in this combat. <laughs> And have nowhere to go because everyone is in the squares that are available. Got that one. <laughs> yeah, but the thing I wanted to do involves me needing a space next to me. So I have to be like all the way out here in like fucking nowhere land. Up there. Yeah, just trying to figure out which way we're going to end up going. Alrighty, I guess I'll just go up here because that is the place where I can go. And she's going to reach into her pouch, plonk out her uh, turret that she was working on, um, whip out a wrench real quick and get it all set up. And then... Where did that come from? (laughs) Hammer space. She got real deep pockets. Also, that's a wrench. You don't know there's not a hammer in here. I mean, I should hope you have a full set of tools. I got more than one. Well, yeah, Trevor isn't here. Oh. Ding. Trisana goes, yeah, but Rickus is. Ding. Oh. <laughs> High five. <laughs> um... So the the turret whirs to life and then she will whip out the pistol that Trevor gave her and cast Arcane Weapon on it. Which gives her plus 1d6 of, let's do thunder damage, we'll stay on theme. And makes it a magic weapon for the duration of the spell. Nifty. And that is, I believe, a level one spell. See, you still got your thunder cannon after all. Mm-hmm. It's just little because you know, Trevor. <laughs> she, she's going to come back with the steampunk equivalent of a Browning M two fifty cal. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and it will fire flawlessly. I don't have a token for my my turret, so but it is here. Um, you see this gun? It gets better action than you do. Oh, those three people at the carnival disagree. <laughs> uh, I suppose I can make a. I forgot that you needed a thing. Quality so, over quantity. Uh. So I'm just gonna create an error. I made it. I made a. I made a thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yep, you yeah. did. I'm not creative enough. I'm just gonna call it turret and give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie can be controlled and edited by Carrie. Its name is turret. <laughs> Yay. And I will create a get a very quick uh, my, my my scribble isn't good enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> that one looks. Madam, we are professionals. I need to. I need to. No, I no. I'm going to. I'm going to zoom in on that and screen cap it and make that the. Turret, your name is Turret. Carrie can change its name if she wants. <laughs> Yay, Turret. So it booms a lot. <laughs> M- Sir Boom Shakalaka Laka. <laughs> boom Shakalaka. Boom Shakalaka. Boom Shakalaka. Boom Shakalaka. <laughs> you have a turret. Do your thing, Turret. Yay, so, Turret. Uh, the lizard folk not 
being known for their bravery are going to run the fuck away after seeing a giant fireball kind of come up. And uh, Katarash looks at them. <laughs> Two words! They scream back out in Draconic, if anybody understands. Yes, at least we will live. <laughs> Do you, st- do you still have Draconic Kachin? Oh, no. <laughs> the irony! Yep. <laughs> Things like that make me happy. <laughs> All right. And on that note, that is going to be the next round of combat, but that is where we're going to break for the evening. Life and Death has not came up to this encounter yet, so I'm willing to break it here. <laughs> Thank you guys. I mean, for there's bits of death, just not ours. Yes. Yeah, it's mostly death on other side. So <laughs> some shit went down. Uh, so thank you guys for hanging out with us. Greatly appreciated. If you want to know more, head over to geek-io.net and geek-io.net slash discord if you want to chat with us. Patreon.com slash geek.io to uh, support us and everything that we do. We love you guys. We will see you right back here next week. Bye. 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 Bye, y'all. You have been listening to a Geek.io Media Network LLC production. Would you like to convert that to pounds? Copyright 2019.